As many of you may know, our MLS areas and sub-areas are going to be retired from the Netra system in the coming months. To aid with that transition, we would like to show you an alternative way to save those areas if you'd still like to use them. To view the areas, you can go to Search and Cross Property, All of Property, Quick Search. Now, the reason that I am choosing Cross Property is because I want to see all of the property types included in that. But if you just wanted to do residential lease, residential, commercial, you could select those property types. But for today, I'm going to do cross property and all property quick search. OK, so this takes me to my search page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my map, which is in the top right hand corner, this little map tab. That brings us to the matrix map. Up at the top of our map, we have some map tools. And we're going to be clicking on layers. Now, under layers, we have areas right here. If your areas is in red, like some of these down below, and you can't click on it, that's letting you know that you might need to zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to select areas. And you'll see that that outlined all of the areas with their numbers on the map for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Okay. And you'll see that we have these blue circles with numbers on them. That is showing you how many listings are in that area. So kind of in this section up top, we have 103 listings. Over here, we have 65. Down here, we have 56, et cetera. And that's kind of getting in the way a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my criteria tab here. And I'm going to put in a really high price range here. Okay. And the reason that I'm doing that is so that when I hop back over to my map, all of those listings are gone and we can kind of see what we're doing a little bit better. Okay, so I am going to use area 11 here as my example. And I want to save this area. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to come up top to my map tools and I'm going to pick on draw polygon. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to come down to my map and I'm going to pick a point on the map and click. And when I click, it kind of sets an anchor and you'll see that this little blue line is following around my mouse anywhere that I move it. So now I can come down along the borders of this area and I can click and I can kind of follow this area borderline around and click. And each time that I'm wanting to kind of change direction, I'll just click again and just follow the edge of this area around. I'll keep clicking. And then when I want to close it out, I'll come back to my original spot here and I'll connect it. And there we go. So we've got that whole area all outlined. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop back over to my criteria here. Remember that the criteria and the map do work together. So whatever I have entered in on my criteria is going to affect what I see on my map. So I'm going to click on criteria. Now I can take out my big price here. And then I can also come over here and check my statuses. So right now I've got actives and all of the active under contract. So maybe I just want to change that to seeing active and coming soon. And I want to uncheck the boxes for the statuses that I don't want to see. I'm going to leave the rest of it pretty open because I want this to be an area search. Just kind of show me what's active in that area. And now when I come back over to my map, there we go. I can see that that's my area 11. I've got my active and coming soon properties in there. And I can save that by coming down to the very bottom to this toolbar down below. And I can click on save and then new speed bar shortcut right down here. OK, to save that speed bar shortcut, I'm going to need to enter a name. So that was area 11. So I am going to type in <clears throat> area 11. And I'm not putting any spaces or special characters in there because it doesn't allow for that. So I'm just doing area 11, no spaces. And then down below, there is an optional description field where you could put in a description. So that's a North Dallas area, Park Cities, you know, whatever it may be. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom and click Save. 
All right. So now matrix lets me know that I've created that shortcut area 11. So how do I come back to this? So I'm going to go all the way back out to my home page of matrix to show you guys. You'll enter the speed bar shortcut up here at the top. This is our speed bar. It's right below the little blue bar here in matrix. And I'm going to do that backslash area 11 in here. And I'm going to click enter. And here we go. Here's all of our results. And then to view that on the map, I can click on map here. And there we go. Here is my area 11. And it's got all of those active and coming soon properties in there. And now that we've got that saved, I can come over here to my criteria. And I could enter in things like residential. I could enter in a zip code, a price range. Okay, so let's see that in action. So what I could do is I could bring up my area 11 search. And then I could say I want to see residential properties. And then I could put in a price range, let's say um, five to seven. And that's five to seven million there because I've got my three zeros checked. Okay, and now I can go to my results. Here are my properties that are in between five to seven million on my price. And I can come down here to save. And I could save that as a new auto email. And then I would just go through the normal steps to set up an auto email. I put in my contact. I give that email a subject line. I would double check my message, my email signature, all that kind of stuff. Double check all of my settings. And that would set up my auto email. So that's one way that we could use this. But let's say it's been a little while, some time goes by, and you have another client who also wants to be in that same area. Great, I'll come up to my speed bar again. I'll type in my area 11 and hit enter. Here's my area 11 again. And this time I can come back over to my criteria. I could enter in residential lease if maybe now I'm looking for leases in this area and then enter in a price range. So maybe this time I want to do two to three thousand for my price range for my residential lease. Then I could hop over to my results. There's all of my active or coming soon lease properties in that price range. And I could come down here to save and then new auto email if I wanted to create an auto email with that search. Okay, so you can see the advantage of doing a speed bar shortcut is that you can use it over and over again and you don't have to worry about saving certain criteria over the top of it. It's always gonna save just what you put in that first time. And I will show you guys that one more time with a different area. So again, we're gonna go to search. We're gonna go to the property type that we're looking for. So maybe this time we'll just do residential. We're gonna go over to our map here in the top right hand corner. We're gonna to go to our layers and we're gonna layer our areas over the top of the map so that we can see those. And then let's zoom in, let's do this kind of North Dallas area again. Let's see, maybe I wanna do area 25, okay? Now some of these blue circles are in my way a little bit, but this time I am not gonna get rid of them. I'll just do my draw polygon and I'll do my best, okay? And so remember, we are gonna set an anchor and then this is gonna follow us wherever we move our mouse. So let's do a couple of clicks here and we're gonna be following area 25 the best that we can. And connect it back. And there we go, there is our area 25. Now, if there are some sections like down here at the bottom that I messed up a little bit, I can grab this little blue line and I can kind of move things around. I can kind of correct that area just a little bit. If I, if I messed it up just a little bit, I can come in here and sort of fine tune that a bit and get it the best that I can since it's got some kind of funky little areas around here, some funky boundary lines. 
Okay, I think that's pretty good. So there's my area 25. Once we've got that all outlined, we'll come down to save. We're gonna click on new speed bar shortcut. And then I'm gonna give that a name. Remember that name will always start with that little backslash. And so I'll title that area 25. No spaces, no special characters or anything. I could put in a description if I wanted to. And then I'm gonna come down here and click save to save that. Alrighty, so that is how you create a speed bar shortcut. And you can see here that I have quite a few of those. I've got one for area 11, one for area 25. I also have one for BGN, which is a Bedford, Grapevine, North Richland Hills one. I've got one for Keller. So you can create these speed bar shortcuts in a couple of different ways for whatever you need. And one more way that you can manage these speed bar shortcuts, I'm gonna go all the way back out, is I can come up to hello and my name in the top right hand corner. I can click on settings and I can click on speed bar shortcuts right next to this little lightning bolt. And here is all of my speed bar shortcuts. And to manage those or change them, I can click on the name. And there we go. It opens up that speed bar shortcut for me. Here I can edit things like price, beds, the statuses I'm seeing, cities, all of that kind of stuff. Or right up here at the top is map search. And I could click on that. Here's my area 25. And if I needed to change this around, I could do that here. Just make sure if you make any changes to come down and click the save button at the bottom. All right, I hope that's helped you guys out.